Hey guys, welcome to your channel. In this video, you'll learn on how to make a car rental booking website on Wix. So first thing that we should do is we have to visit the Wix website. So just have to open any of your web browser and then just tap out wix.com and you'd be directed to this page. So what we're going to do here is to simply click on the get started option. Okay, and then right here we can log in using our google account so just click on it and select your google account okay so after that you'd be directed to your dashboard so this is wix studio and as you can see these are all my sites okay so after that all you have to do is to simply click on create a new site at the top right of your screen okay so make sure that you are going to log into your account first then after that, we just have to select Use Wix Editor. After clicking on Use Wix Editor, you'd be directed to this page. So right here, bring your ideas to life with AI so you can get started faster with the help of AI. So you just have to tell them about yourself and get personalized tools, images, and text for your site. So you can click on Start Chat or simply click on Setup Without Chat. Okay, so right here, what type of website do you want to create? So since we wanted to create a car rental website, you just have to type out car rental. And then right here, we have to select car rental company and then just click on continue after that. Okay, so right here, there are no preparing your dashboard. So you just have to wait for a couple of seconds and it will be directed to your dashboard. Okay, so right here, we have to start setting up our store so give your store a name you can create a new one or use a name you already have so let me just um name this as car rental okay and then after that you can click on continue or skip this part but of course it is very important to um fill out this form okay so right here do you already have an online store so no i'm just starting out and click on continue and right here what kind of products are you selling so you just have to select anything you're selling now or plan to tell in the future so i'm going to select the services right here and then click on continue okay and then right here how are you offering your products so this will let you manage all your sales channels in one place so we are going to select the online store and in person okay now click on continue then right here you're all set so head over to your dashboard to finish setting up your store so just click on continue to dashboard okay so now just wait for a couple of seconds and it'll be directed to your dashboard and before anything else we have to you know add our um, custom domain right here so I'm just going to skip that part for now because I'm not planning on subscribing to a plan for this website. So what I'm going to show you, I would like to highlight and how you can set up payment methods on your site. So what you're going to do is to simply click on this set up payments option. Face this one at the right side and it'd be directed to this page. Okay, so as you can see, my current location is Philippines. So I only have this payment method available to my location. Now, if you're not from that specific location, all you have to do is to simply change it. Okay, and from there, you'd be able to see more payment methods available for your site. So let me just click on change. So for example, maybe United States. So you just have to use the search bar at the very top and search for that specific country where your business based okay then after that just click on change so i think i click on the wrong country so let me just type it out again united states or usa so here it is now just click on choose and after that you'll be able to see here now the available payment methods for your site Okay, so what you're going to do is to simply click on connect and then here you just have to connect it to the correct providers you just have to read this important details at the top then after that you just have to simply select this no i do not continue connecting with wix payment and then click on accept and continue 
Then after that, we're here just have to give your customers the ability to pay online and in person. So you just have to select how customers can pay you. So here we have credit cards or the bad cards, Apple Pay, Google Pay, and more. So if you would like to um, enable a specific method, so you just have to simply toggle the switch on or off at your right side. Then after that, you just have to click on continue. Okay, so just wait for a couple of seconds. And of course, before we can start accepting online payments, we have to upgrade our store or our plan. So you just have to click on upgrade and choose a plan. Okay, so I did show you in how you can um, set up your payment methods. You just have to follow it. It's just that you have to subscribe to a plan. Okay, so now let us proceed to our rental website. Okay, so let me just go back right here. And then after that, we just have to click on the catalog section. So this one at the left side of our screen. Okay, so here is the catalog. Once you open the catalog section, you'll be able to see the booking channels. So you just have to simply click on the booking channels and you'll be able to see the booking integration. So you just have to simply click on it. Okay, and then after clicking on the um, booking integrations, you'd be able to see this page. So right here, explore ways to increase your bookings, engage with clients, manage your business, and more. So right here, we just have to publish your site to book online. Okay, so visit store, and then right here, just click on how would you like to design your website. Okay, so I'm going to select a, pick a template. Then... Right here, we just have to pick the template that is relevant to our website, of course. So we can use the search bar at the top right to search for a specific or a relevant template for our rental website. Okay, so I'm going to search for car rental company. And then right here, we've got different templates and we can actually go to the next pages of this template. If we cannot find our um, template that we're looking for in the first page. So I think this one is the best template. So I'm just going to click on it and click on edit. Then just have to wait for a couple of seconds. And then it will be redirected to this page right here. And in this section, we can enhance our AI content. So get personalized content across your entire site quickly by updating your info with more details. So if you would like to add some more details about your site, you can generate site text right here. So after that, we can now start customizing this template. Okay, so this is now the template and take note that we can customize all of the elements in this template. Okay, so for example, right here, we have the background image. So if you want to change this one, just click on change background and we can um, change this to color or add image or add a video. So for this one, I'm just going to select image. So when you click on it right here, we can upload our own media or use media from Wix. And using the search bar is we can search for a specific image that we want to use. So for example, cars. So I think this one is better. So all you have to do now is to simply click on that specific image and then click on change background. Okay, then just wait for a couple of seconds. And as you can see, we have successfully changed the background of our homepage. So right here, if you would like to change the text or the elements, so you just have to simply click on it. And for example, I would like to remove this irrelevant text below. So all I have to do is to click on it and then just right click and click on delete. Okay. And that specific element will be removed from your template okay so right here we have this different pages so what we can do now is to simply click on this add element section at the top left okay so this one the plus icon we have that if we want to add elements and if we would like to add a section so we can go to this icon right here and here is the side pages and menu so this are all of the side menu so you can see this one at the very top of our website so we can actually um change or reorder this pages okay so you just have to click on the button at the left side and then just have to drag it 
now i will show you in how you can delete a specific section so for example i don't want this about us to appear in my page so you just have to right click and then just click on delete okay so as you can see that specific section has been removed from my site so right here you just have to simply click on the pages at the top left and then click on book online okay so right here is our services what we're going to do is to simply click on the page and click on manage services okay so click on the manage services option and it'd be directed to this dashboard so what we're going to do here is to simply add a new service okay so we have this um one service right here so what we're going to do is to add a new service so just click on this option at the top right okay so this one then right here we can now um edit the service below or start creating your own so i am looking for a car rental service so i'm going to select this one okay so i think this is the best one for this and then what you're going to do is to customize this service template so right here i will going to change the name to um two days vehicle rental or two days car rental okay so right here you can also add tagline add your description and then of course the duration so we are going to customize this one so this should be 48 hours and then the buffer time um, I think 20 minutes or 15 minutes would do so add some time after each session to create short breaks okay then right here for the price and payment so you just have to choose how clients can pay you for the service so we have for sessions so clients pay for sessions based on the price you set or with a plan so clients buy a membership or package to book session with or per session or with a plan so clients pay either session or with a membership or a package so after that right here is the um, price per session so for the price type we have fixed price free varied prices there's custom price so i'm going to select fixed price for this and then you have the type of right here the amount so maybe 2500 pesos and then right here for the payment preferences we have entire amount online entire amount in person entire amount either online or in person or online deposit and rest in person so i'm going to choose that one and then for the location you just have to um select your location right here and you can also add a video conferencing so that the service can be offered online so right here for the staff and availability select the staff members who provide this service so i'm going to select all staff or you can assign a specific staff here is we can manage our sources for our service and then of course we can add a cover image and a photo gallery okay so we just have to add here our cover image and then our photo gallery right here after that is the booking preferences so when you click on this arrow we have these details right here so we have the policy we also have the online bookings options so give clients the ability to book on your site and for the booking form is we can um, customize this later on so before that we are going to save this first okay so just click on save so just click on this option at the bottom right or at the top right so after that just have to click on edit form and save and continue so once done we would be redirected to your booking form so right here clients fill out this form and booking on your site so you can customize it to collect the exact information you need so you can also click on this one tips for creating your home so you just have to click on this link right here okay so right here is we just have to add our information for the page title and subtitle so you just have to add your information and then just have to tell them a bit about yourself and actually you can also hide the subtitle okay and then right here are the fields where your customer is going to fill out when they book on your rental website okay so they have to type out their name their email their phone number they're not the number of participants as well and then if you would like to add a custom field then you can do that 
okay they also have an address right here and if you like to add your message to your customer so you can um type it out right here okay so after that you just have to simply click on the save form option so this one at the top right or at the bottom right of your screen okay so when you clicked on it now your booking form has been saved so you can preview it on your site okay so right here we have the overview at the right side so let me just click on save and then go back to my website and try to preview our rental website so right here in the booking services um section we have our services so we already have two so now let's go back to our website okay and then click on preview so this one at the top right okay so beside the publish option so just wait for a couple of seconds and when someone visit our website okay and then when they click on the book online option at the top of our screen they'd be able to see our services right here so when they click on the book now option so for example this one okay so they just going to click on book now and they'd be directed to this page so they have to um check out the availability and book the date and time that works for them so they're just going to select a specific date and time then they have to check the availability then right here on the service details they'll be able to see the details of our services and then just have to click on next but as you can see there are no available dates since i did not sign up for, for an account and our payment methods has not been successfully connected because in order for it to work we have to upgrade our plan okay so you have to take note of that you have to pay monthly or annually if you'd like to subscribe to a premium plan so that your um, website here on Rex we're going to work okay so let me just try the other service that we have created so let's go back right here and then try the other one and before you leave this video you also have to take note that you can add as many services as you can it's just that we have to upgrade to a plan in order for our website or our rental website to work okay so as you can see it's just the same because this is a car rental website so they're just going to select a specific service and then select a specific date and time and then check for the available schedule and then here is the service details we have here the um the price as well so when they click on next they'll be able to get the form so they just have to fill out the form and get their schedule okay so that's it for this video if you think this video helped you solve your concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below bye